I'm not recording. Ah, we're good. Action. My name is Darius Hunter. I'm the vice president of the Spikeball Club. And uh, my name is Jake Cook. I am the uh, vice president of the Spikeball Club and the uh, carbon of the group, the one that holds us all together. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. We started the spike ball club this year, it's new, and we already got 96 sign-ups. The club's already been a big hit, and we just really enjoy like getting everyone around school involved in the club. On the 18th of August, Jake and his friends were playing spike ball in his backyard when he decided to create a club at his high school. He teamed up with Darius, and less than a month later, 100 more people discovered the sport that has already captivated hundreds of thousands across the U.S. The uh, first time we heard about spike ball was in eighth grade with our uh, boys volleyball coach. Uh, ever since then, me and my buddies have been playing after school all day. We haven't stopped since. Spike ball made its debut in the 1980s as a game on the shelves of Toys R Us, eventually discontinued. However, Chris Ruder, the current CEO of Spike Ball Inc., saw potential in the game, bought the set, and in 2008 gave new life to the once failed toy. Spike ball is played with uh, two teams of two on each side of the net. You get three hits for each team, and the goal is to get the ball back onto the net so that the other team can't receive the ball. Things on the brink of blasphemy, I'm my own shrink. Think things are after me on my catastrophe at my kitchen sink. You don't know what that means. Because a kitchen sink to you is not a kitchen sink to me, okay, friend? Are you Spike ball itself is really growing in popularity. It's already been on Shark Tank. I've seen uh, news segments on Fox News, and there's even apps and websites that you can get connected in the community. Along with the media, Spike Ball is also being spread rapidly through youth groups, ultimate frisbee clubs, and schools ranging from elementary to college. On the day of the club fair, Dr. Phillips, the newly formed Spike Ball Club was easily among the most unique and popular clubs to join that day. Now Jake and Darius are in the process of establishing leagues in which local high schools may compete in Orange County to play against each other. I love it because it combines the team aspect of like volleyball and the competitive hand-eye coordination of Foursquare. Puts it together for a great game. I actually played for the Dr. Phillips volleyball team and uh, playing spike ball like on the weekends after school helps my hand-eye coordination, helps me become a better player.